This is my kids right here going down into the window well so that they can talk to their daddy. Last March, this was Sean Steffen's painful daddy, reality. Daddy. Confined to the basement with COVID-19 for three weeks, separated from his young boys. Talk to him. Hi. And wife Heather. Breaks my heart because they miss Sean so much. Sean had the classic symptoms. Oh, the shakes. Body aches, extreme fatigue, a loss of taste and smell, and trouble breathing, too. Oh, my God, just walk into the bathroom was just... <sighs> Seven months later, how you feeling? Uh, pretty good. But for this Warrior Dash runner and Spartan racer, it hasn't been an easy journey back, and he's still not there. But now I got all these other symptoms that I've never had before. High blood pressure, constant jitters, he says, and a lack of concentration. I call it foggy brain. Because I'll, I'll go to the refrigerator and forget what it is I'm there for. Um, those things never happen to me. I just, it's brand new and it happened overnight. The New York Times reported this fall that brain fog has affected thousands of survivors, in some cases, impending their ability to work and function in daily life. Meanwhile, Mandy Westerfield considers herself lucky. We were able to recover at home and um, took us about a week or so. After about a month, the only lasting symptom is it's taken a while for some of my senses to recover. But no new symptoms at all? No new symptoms at all. Which is what makes this new virus so mysterious. The scientists try and figure out why it leaves no mark on some and significant struggles for others. Sean Steffen says while it's true, almost everyone who gets COVID survives. Yeah, that's great. But uh, even the survivors are surviving with something else a new battle to try and conquer.